Good morning. The Lord says, as he entered the world, behold, I come to do your will, O Lord. To begin the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring each of us one day to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it enough for you? Is it not enough for you to weary people? But must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and you shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed to me, for me to do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth to the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. The second reading is a reading from the letter of, uh, to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats takes away our sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offerings you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight. 
Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. Then you offered according to the law. These were offered according to the law. Then he says, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated to the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My brothers and sisters, may our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Behold, you shall conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be called great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I've had no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. And so today we celebrate the solemnity of the Annunciation. Now, what that means, of course, is that God became a man in the womb of Mary. Right there, you can't see it right now, but in our tabernacle is when Mary said yes it's only nine months to Christmas today. Did you get it? Nine months, March 25th to December 25th. She conceived today. Yeah. So anyway, today also being a solemnity, you can sit there and you can eat meat on Friday. I know that's what you're all concerned about. If you gave up dessert, you can have dessert today. If you gave up beer, you can have a beer. You don't sin, though. You don't do things like, oh, yeah, I gave that up. It's a sin, but I'm going to do that because it's solemnity. No, you can't do that. But the other thing, it's a great feast that you can do these things, even on a Friday in Lent. Why? Because God humbled himself and took on our flesh to save us. It all happened because of Mary's yes. And we are called to be like Mary and imitate her and also say yes to the divine will. And again, when you and I say yes to the divine will, we too become instruments of salvation. So today you have a choice to do your will or do God's will. I have a choice to do my will or do God's will. Let's say yes, like Mary, and be instruments of salvation to the world. May it you know his love today and forever. Amen. Let us stand and we say the creed today and we... Uh, genuflect or kneel at the word became flesh. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, 
who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life and the world to come. Amen. Believing in this God who would rather die than live without any of us, let's now give to him these our needs and our petitions. We pray as always for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray for all bishops, all priests, all religious women and men. They would always say yes to God's will and be instruments of salvation to the world. We pray to the Lord. Let's pray for all world leaders. They would work for peace and for justice, that they would work to end the war in Russia and Ukraine, that the Lord, the Holy Father's prayer today with all the world will help be instruments of salvation to them and bring peace to the world. We pray to the Lord. Pray for our servicemen and women who fight for us. Pray for our first responders who keep us safe and all health care workers who keep us healthy, that God would protect them to do his holy will. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick, that God and his mercy would heal them. We pray to the Lord. And pray for all those who have died. Remember all the poor souls in purgatory. Remember all the priests and religious on this or anniversary of their death, especially Father Steve Anderson. On this is anniversary, we pray to the Lord. We pray for the intentions of this Mass. Even though there's a cross on there, I know these people are very much alive. So it's Chris and Candy Brown is for whom we say this Mass today. For them and for their intentions, we pray to the Lord. And as always, we'll offer up this Mass also for you and for your intentions. So in the silence of your heart, Tell Jesus what you need and we'll offer up this Mass also for you and for those intentions. We pray to the Lord. Father, thank you for hearing us. We know that you always hear us. Father, give us the grace to always say yes to you and your holy will and be instruments of your salvation to the world. We beg you these things, Holy Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God who is our almighty Father. Be pleased, almighty God, to accept your church's offering so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men, 
and for men's sake by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly she bore him in her immaculate wound that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to pour it out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, O Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Lawrence, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not 
into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those of you at home, I'll receive Jesus in your name this morning, but as always, make an act of faith and an act of spiritual communion. Begin by just saying, Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that you are God. And I believe that you became a man, that you died on the cross to take away our sins. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for me. Jesus, I believe that you're truly present in the most blessed sacrament. And since I cannot receive you now physically, I beg you, come into my heart spiritually. Come into my heart, take control of my life. Be my Lord and God and Savior. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and make me your disciple. I love you, Lord Jesus Christ, and I surrender my life to you forever as you have surrendered your life for me. Now just close your eyes and ask the Lord to embrace you. Feel Jesus. Put his arms around you. Put your head on his chest. Listen to his heartbeat. Every time his heart beats, he says, I love you. Let Jesus Christ now love you. May the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus keep us all safe for eternal life. Amen.
Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. I forget today at about 1.30 this afternoon, our time, 6.30 Rome time, the Holy Father will consecrate Ukraine and Russia to the Blessed Mother. It's the first time that they'll explicitly say we're consecrating Russia to the Blessed Mother. Uh, it's been done before, but without saying the name explicitly, so not to offend the Russian Orthodox people. But now, because of the war and everything, they're explicitly doing that. So I encourage you, you can download the prayer that will be prayed by the Holy Father at that time. You can say that prayer privately. You can, again, reconsecrate your own life to our Blessed Mother, that you too and I too become people of instruments of peace by saying God's uh, yes to God's holy will. Let us stand and let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, that by confessing that he who was conceived of the Holy Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless, keep, and protect you, he who is Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Have a blessed day.